Hello, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to find keywords and I think brainstorming or concept mapping is a really good strategy to get all of your thoughts out on paper or onto a, an online tool used for ma mind mapping or brainstorming. I use Bubble. You can see I've used this before. It's bubbl.us. This is an online tool that you can create mind maps with. You can do this with pencil and paper. You can do this however you want, but it's a good strategy to get all those keywords out. You don't have to create an account. You can just start going. Start here with your main topic. If I were researching wolves in Yellowstone, that's what I want to write my paper on. I start in the middle there, and then it's really useful to think about who actually cares about this issue? And so I can use the prompts here, command, enter, and say, I know that ranchers care. And I know that wildlife biologists care. Also environmentalists. and tourists, because a lot of people come to Yellowstone, right? These are the people who are involved in the kind of controversy about wolves, and probably some government agencies. And I'm going to move these around a little bit to give myself a little bit more room. You can drag these um, around to allow you to expand your map a little bit. I find that to be kind of useful. And then once you've named a lot of the different stakeholders in the issue, it's often useful to brainstorm why they actually care. So I'm going to say ranchers care because they're livestock, I can't spell, is getting eaten. So I'm going to put livestock predation. Um, why do tourists care? Well, tourists might actually want to see um, they want to see wolves or um, they might say they might be afraid of the wolves so safety in the parks so I'm just kind of getting my ideas out um, environmentalists they care because um, they're maybe worried that um, wolves will be endangered again Um, the biologists care for some of the same reasons, but maybe um, they're worried about um, biodiversity, so they want a lot of different kinds of species to live together. Um, so you can see how you can sort of get at the ideas here. And for government, I might say, okay, which government agencies specifically? Um, definitely the National Parks Department and the, um, I don't know if the EPA cares, probably not, the um, Fish and Wildlife, that's who I'm thinking of. You can kind of see where this is going. So get all your ideas out, um, keep going on this, but then you can take all of those keywords and those ideas and see if there are ways that you can even add more keywords. So when you're thinking about ranchers and their objection to wolves, um, maybe think about the solution. So a lot of people are thinking about hunting, so you might want to add um, hunting in as an option. I think I didn't have the right thing clicked here. Well, you see how it works. And then, you know, what goes into that? Also, what kind of livestock is being eaten? Is it cattle? Is it sheep? Um, are there other kinds of animals that are being um, eaten? And maybe environmentalists care about that. Like, are there other endangered species that are being eaten? Are you sure? Do you have that question? So keep adding that stuff. Once you've amassed sort of your ideas, you can start looking. And if you go to the library page, or if you go to any search engine, um, I recommend using the research starting point, you can start putting um, in your keyword. And so I'm 
particularly interested in the predation of cattle. So I put wolves, Yellowstone cattle predation, and search. And so then I'm getting a more specific set of results. I still have 570, but that's not too bad. I can um, then narrow down using the types of information I'm looking for and the subject headings that are coming up, and I can keep adding as I'm reading through these to my concept map and plan out my searches and be just a little bit more efficient about it. I hope this helps you come up with some keywords.